Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. I have a subscriber that had purchased a reading um, on this celebrity couple. They used to be a couple and now they've split and they moved on to their separate ways. It was um, Monica Bellucci and Vincent Cassell. They divorced. They had two daughters together and now they're in different relationships. Vincent is married to a model named T Tina Kunike, Kunike, and Monica is moved on with an artist named Nicholas Lefebvre. And she would like to know about a little bit more about this relationship. So I am so grateful that she's allowed me to post this public for everybody to watch. And so uh, I hope all of you guys enjoy it. Uh, she is paid with her own hard-earned money to get this reading and is paying it forward for everyone to watch. So for anybody who is new to my channel, a little bit about myself, I'm clairsentient, clairvoyant, which means I do readings based on the energies I pick up between people. It's called reading people. Um, that's where I shine. That's where I do my best work. It's being highly empathetic that I can pick things up and then just kind of um, with I can feel past, present and future. Okay, so um, please subscribe if you like my channel. And for those of you who are uh, current subscribers who keep coming back, I truly appreciate you supporting my channel. I'm just so grateful for it. So if anybody is interested in purchasing a reading on your favorite celebrity or yourself, I have two services that I offer. The first one is $57. That's a full reading. You can ask as many questions as you like and I will read until I'm done. Which means that if you go to if you go to some readers, some readers will say $60 for half an hour, $120 for an hour. You know, I don't stop at exactly half hour. For $57, I will read for 36 minutes or 45 minutes or I have 20 minutes, however long I feel like it takes to get the reading done. And then the other service that I offer is one question, $20, five cards, and an energy reading. So those are for people who just want a question answered. You know, uh, should they move? Should, t should they take this job? Or they want to know about their favorite celebrity? Okay, I will leave my email in the video here. You guys, anybody who's interested can email me. Um, I will get back to you within 24 hours and I will have the reading back within five days. This person purchased this reading two days ago. So my turnaround time is usually two to three days. It's never been five days, but I'd like to say five days in case something comes up. Okay, and I can't get the reading out in, in a couple of days. All right. So, okay, so on with the reading then. Now, comparing Monica to her now ex-husband, the relationship in general, what attracted one another to each other initially, and the causes for the split and their current relationships. So she wants to know about Monica and Vincent. I don't know what Vincent did for a living, but I feel that there was like, like there was something about Vincent. Like, I don't know how old Vincent is. Okay, I guess I should have looked that up. I'm just going to look up their ages because I feel he is somewhat, there's something about him that seems wise and experienced. Okay, so I'm just going to see what his age is. Uh, birthday. Cassell, birthday. I should have done this earlier. I apologize, but this seems to always just kind of catch me off guard. He was born in 1966. So he's 54. Oh, my birthday, November 23rd. He's two years older than me. And um, Monica was born September 1964. Why do I feel he's much older? There's something about him that's wise, and I feel like a uh, French actor. He first achieved recognition for his performance in Troubled French Jewish Youth. I don't know. There's something about him that's intriguing to her. I feel that he's somewhat wise, and she liked that about him. Um, he almost 
I get this very protective nature from him, but I get this wisdom coming from him and her drawing been her being drawn to that wisdom. She's September 30th, so she would be a Libra. Now, okay. Comparing Monica to her ex, her to her now ex-husband. Relation what attracted one another to each. And so with him, I feel for Vincent, like, is she what is she? Is she an actor too? Is she an actress? Monica Ann K is an Italian actress and model. Um I don't know. I think I think this is kind of like uh kindred spirits or something. It's like I feel that when they first met, they were initially very attracted to each other. Just, you know, I feel like they've had many past lives together, which is I feel like it was really easy between them, but somehow somewhere they just grew apart. Okay? Um I get that's what they just grew apart. Uh, I don't think there was anything specifically that broke them up. Uh, now they are in different relationship. Vincent is married to 23 or 20. See, it's like when you get married, and I'm not saying it's like this in every marriage, but you get married, you're going to get stuck in certain ways, right? You, that, that excitement is gone you know that in love feeling is gone I don't know how long they were married for um let's see here uh married for how long 14 years yeah you know there's just I feel like she needed more and I feel like she was somewhat stuck in a rut or something. I, I don't know who ended this. Confirms that he he has agreed to separate from his wife, Monica. Or he met Kay. I, I feel this was her. She needed more. Um, so it looks like they were together for 18 years and married for, for 14 years. But I feel that she needed more in this relationship it was like they kind of got stuck in a rut and she didn't know how to get out of it and she wanted more out of life and she wasn't going to get it with him I don't feel like he was out cheating on her I feel he was quite devastated about the ending of this marriage but what can he do there's not much a person can do if the wife doesn't want to be with him anymore okay um Now they're in different. Vincent is married to a 23 or 24 year old named Tina Kuneke and they share a child together. Now this relationship is different. Um, she's much younger, right? She, uh, he's in his 50s. She's in, in her 20s. Um, I feel that this model is very mature but yet shows him a different part of life. I feel that Tina is kind of like let's go boating, let's go skiing, let's go hiking, let's go do something. It's like she gets him going and moving and doing things together. Whereas Monica and Vincent, I don't think they did a lot of things together. Um, but I, like, the Tina's vibrant. Tina is more, um, she's kind of like more active in that way. And he likes that. I'll pull cards on all this later, okay? Um, now, Monica moved on with artist named Nicholas Lefebvre. They are just dating. Anyway, okay. Now. 
what the future holds, etc. Thank you so much. Okay, and you know what, Monica and Nicholas, I don't know about them lasting, getting married and lasting forever. Uh, he's too different for her. He is, I feel like, a little bit more off the wall in the way of his lifestyle. I think, I don't feel like his lifestyle jives with hers. And she may see that. Um, I think they get along for the most part. But see, Monica, I feel, is all about being seen and um, likes the, um, how do you call it, likes going to galas and likes going to um, fashion shows and being out there and being seen. I'm not saying like she's a, a, a attention whore or anything like that, but that's what she likes to do. Whereas this Nicholas is like a little bit more, um, doesn't, you know, he's not really into that kind of stuff. They don't have the same sort of a lifestyle. Like, I feel like Nicholas could li live with less, you know, and Monica likes all the things that come with fame. Okay? I don't know if he's famous. Nicholas Lefebvre. I'm just going to look him up too. I tend to do these as I do the readings. Okay, whoops. This is okay. Travel since his youngest age around the world through the. See, like when I look at Nicholas, he's spiritual. I'm just gonna go to his Wikipedia. He's he's spiritual. Like I mean, look at him. He's got long hair. He's got a beard. He, and not that there's anything wrong with that, but he is not as, he's 39 years old, so she's older than him as well. He doesn't conform to society like she does. Um, so there's some ideals here that are different between them, I feel. Um, but, he, there's there's something about him again that she's drawn to. I feel she's drawn to his spirit. She's drawn to the way he lives his life, even though that's not how she likes to live her life. But she's drawn to it. I feel like she's open and she wants to experience and she wants to see what kind of life he lives. And he wants to, she wants to experience that. But I don't know in the end if that's going to be enough for him. So like if she says, oh... Let's go away and, you know, rent a really nice hotel room. And he's like, let's just, just sleep in a tent in the jungle. And she's like, no, I don't want to do that. You know, like there's, there's a different sort of a, he's spiritual, Nicholas. And she likes the fact that he's different than her husband. Like they're, they're definitely two different people, you know, different, totally different men. Okay, I'm going to get my cards out and I'll ask the future messages regarding... Monica and Nicholas first. What are the future messages regarding Monica and Nicholas? I'll ask what the messages are between the two of them. What are the energies between Monica and Nicholas? What are the energies between Monica and Nicholas? Energies between Monica and Nicholas. Energies between Monica and Nicholas. The energies between Monica and Nicholas. The way I do my card readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and shuffle till one card falls out. What are the energies between Monica and Nicholas?
Okay, so what are the energies between Monica and Nicholas? We have the Four of Pentacles, which talks about a desire for long-term security, and there is a fear of change here. She, she's wanting, she's wanting that security, but I feel like she thinks she might have to change a little bit too much to get this security from him. It's like she's not willing to live that lifestyle, but she's willing to spend time with him, get to know him, be committed to him, but I don't know if she's necessarily all in yet, okay? Then we have the Four of Cups. I feel like she can separate the lives. Like she's like, I still can go to do these things and, and go these places and, you know, be in the limelight and be with the s s certain, you know, um, uh, socialites. But yet she can, when she's with him, change that. Okay, so what are the messages? So what are the energies between them? We have the Four of Cups. Apathy, feeling unfulfilled, unexpected gifts. I feel like he's a gift to her in some way. He's teaching her different ways of life. All right, but I don't know if that's going to be good enough for her. This is about a gift being given to you by God. Okay, so out of the blue, they could have met somewhere. Um, but I don't know how truly fulfilled she will be with him. He's fine with her. But I think eventually she's going to need more and she might even be seeing this already. All right, what are the energies here? They're both working on it. There's the Eight of Pentacles, okay? They're both trying to master this relationship and figure it out between the two of them. This does talk about success and victory. This is They do both want this. But I don't know, in the end, I don't know if it's going to be enough for her. But this... Um, is about victory, awards, recognition, good news. She likes the recognition, okay? She does. She likes the recognition. She likes the accolades. Um, this does talk about success in the relationship. I just, I don't know how long it's going to be successful for. And then we have here the Queen of Pentacles. She is a resourceful woman. She's got many skills. She's looking at the money. That's kind of important to her. When I think about her, she's materialistic. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's just who she is. And I think about him, money doesn't really seem to matter all that much. I don't know why I get, I just get this vibe that eh, it just really doesn't matter that much. If it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, it doesn't, you know? Okay, what are the future messages? What are the future messages regarding Nicholas and Monica? What are the future messages regarding Monica and Nicholas? What are the future future messages regarding Monica and, and Nicholas? What are the future messages regarding Monica and Nicholas? like to have fun together. Okay, so what are the future messages? Now, she is a Libra, I believe, because it was um, September 30th, right? His birth date is June 22nd, so he is right on the cusp, I believe, of Gemini. And, okay, I'll just see June 22nd, Zodiac. Could be a, he could be a Cancer. He's a Cancer. She's a Libra. So he's Cancer. You know, he's emotional. He's sensitive. He can. They're very creative. Uh, a lot of Cancers I know are musical. They like to create things. I mean, that could be him. You know, here we have the Page of Wands. Okay, 
So the Page of Wands is about um, someone who's very active. It is about making projects. It's about being passionate. He's very passionate, okay? They like to have fun. Future messages. They will still continue to have fun and enjoy each other's company and go out and do things. You know, um, this is about friendship. It's celebration. It's about a circle of support. So I feel like they have a lot of friends around them that support them and what they do and their friend, their relationship, right? Future messages, here is the Empress. And this represents abundance in the relationship and lots of beauty. So she kind of likes this, okay? All right, then we have the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is about, this is about loss, regret, grief, feeling abandoned, feeling unloved, okay? So one of them is going to start to feel this. And I really feel it's going to be more him. Okay? Because I think that she may want to move on. Okay? And then we have the Six of Swords. There's the moving on. Six of Swords. It's about a necessary transition. This is about um, relocating, moving. Um, but I do feel this has to do with the, the relationship moving on. I don't think that this relationship is going to stick. I mean, it might for a few years. I don't know how long they've been dating for. Um, let's see what the messages are, current messages regarding. Vincent and Tina. What are the current energies between Vincent and Tina? He likes the models, hey? All right, Vincent and Tina. What are the current energies between Vincent and Tina? See, she's wise. Tina is mature for her age. And then I think about Monica, I feel she's a little more shallower. She's not that deep. Not that I don't, I don't know these people. I've never heard about them before in my life. So I don't, I don't know. I'm not being biased or anything like that. Vincent and Monica. Right? No, Vincent and Tina. Vincent and Tina. Okay, so see, this relationship is a little more balanced, right? We have here the Ace of Pentacles, which talks about a reliable relationship. Uh, sorry, stable relationship. You can see the green in this card, which talks about um, growth. You know, when the grass is growing, it's green and it's it's flourishing. I feel that this is them. There's there's growth in this relationship. There's also give and take. There's the six of pentacles, which is about giving and receiving equally. He takes, she gives. She takes, he gives. This is generosity. There's generosity here between the two of them. I keep getting she's wise. There's some sort of a, there's a wisdom here with her. All right, we have the temperance card. This is what's going on between them. Temperance talks about balance, harmony, moderation. It's very balanced and, mar and harmonious between the two of them. Okay. We have six of swords, swords here as well. Now, they could be wanting to move. This is also a necessary transition, but I feel in this way, it's a different kind of a transition. Not like a transition, like moving on, but there could be some sort of a change that they're thinking about in their life where they're going to move um, or uh, go on a trip or relocate in some way. And then we have the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords talks about something that keeps them up at night. Now, um, the Nine of Swords, there might be some sort of an anxiety here that goes on in the relationship. Um, I don't know if this relationship is something that people like or don't like. I don't think they really care. But this is about anxiety, stress, disruption, and insomnia. It's about processing certain events, feeling anxious about their future, or be locked in a pattern of thinking. Okay? So it could also be some sort of a physical discomfort. It could be, you know, poor health or something like that. Depression. You know, that sort of a thing. So one of them could be going going through some sort of a health matter. Now, let's see what the future messages are regarding Vincent and Tina. 
future messages regarding Vincent and Tina. Future messages regarding Vincent and Tina. Vincent and Tina. Two messages regarding Vincent and Tina. Waiting for the cards to fall out. Waiting, waiting, waiting for the cards to fall out. <laughs> Future messages regarding Vincent and Tina. Vincent and Tina. Tina. Vincent birthday, November 23rd, I said, which would make him a Sagittarius. And Queen of Pentacles came out. And Tina. Tina. April 5th. So she's in Aries. He's a Sagittarius. They're both fire signs. They're both very fiery. Um, I think this is a nice relationship. Um, he, I feel like he adores her, um, wants to look after her. Um, we've got here, uh, they're going through, they're, they're going to be going through something. Here's the Ten of Wands, which is about stress, exhaustion, too many responsibilities, but they're going to come to an end of this. Tens are endings, aces are beginnings, so they're going to come to an end of this, feeling like there's just some sort of a stress going on. All right, order is going to come back. Now, we have here the emperor, which is it's someone who's uh, respected. He's a father. He's a strategic planner. He is kind of like the boss. I'm not saying Vincent is the boss and is, in, is very controlling, but he's strategic, and he looks out for his woman. You can see here's the ramp. She could be, she could be the one who's looking after him too. I mean, she's in Aries, right? April 5th. So this speaks about, um, you've got the uh, Aries is the ram. So here's the staff with the Aries on it. She could be the one who's a little bit more strategic and saying, okay, this is what we're going to do. But I feel like he likes to dote on her. So she might be the one who kind of calls the shots in the relationship. And she brings order back after a time of stress and chaos. But it's still going to be the same. This card came out in uh, the current energies and it has come out again for future energies, which is about giving and taping, taking and being very generous with each other. Okay. And then with the, here we have the Six of Swords again. So there's definitely some sort of a transition going on in the relationship. They might still be thinking about moving or relocating or traveling, going traveling, you know. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Now, she's an Aries. This represents an earth sign person, but this is a resourceful woman, okay? She's got domestic skills. It's about fertility. Maybe they're thinking about having another baby. 
you know, uh, I don't know how long they've been married for or anything like that. Um, but this is saying that she could, they could be looking at expanding the family. Okay. She's very resourceful and she's very authoritative. Like she knows what to do to get the job done. Okay. If she sees trouble and stress, she will put order back into the life, their lives. But ultimately, like, I feel like this relationship will still be very balanced between the two of them. Okay. All right. There you go. That is the reading on these three couples. I guess we can say three because we've got the original two and then they split off and got the, the each um, got into different relationships. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you for watching. Please share, like, subscribe, comment if you like. And um, I really, really thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.